past those guys. Run to the right, and there'll be another door past some enemies. I realize this isn't the most interesting commentary, but uh, I'm mainly doing this one just to finish it. Leading our squad of retards through a stupid and completely similar looking dungeon at all times. So I apologize for the lack of humor, aside from watching me get raped by everything that fucking moves in this dungeon, despite at least half of this party supposedly being extremely capable fighters. I mean, come on, honestly? What the fuck is with this? Hey, don't kick me in the shins, you little fuck. Oh, great, another one. I'm stabbing him in the head, but his kicks do more damage. Yeah. Okay, I think we're almost there. Yeah, we're just about there. So, let me tell you about the boss that's coming up. It's a very difficult puzzle boss, so you'll want to watch what I do very carefully. Because it's really easy to fuck it up. And if you fuck it up, you have to go through all this bullshit all over again. And honestly, this is... Easily one of the worst games I've ever played, so I wouldn't want to wish that on you. Don't you even fucking think about killing me, you motherfucker. I'm gonna stab you right in the balls, and you're gonna like it, and you're gonna fucking die. That's right. Anyways. These two doors go nowhere. Through here is the toughest boss you will ever face. Like I said, it's a very difficult puzzle boss. It involves using all of your heroes in a very specific order. What am I doing? Starting with Goldboon. You want to save first. Go in here. And this is not the right door. Oh, we got one more room to go through first. But anyways, keep in mind, puzzle boss, very hard. You need all of your characters alive to be able to do this. All of your characters alive to be able to do this. Casting the inappropriate spells also helps, just trust me on that one. I really apologize for having to fight the menu every time I want to cast spells, but I swear to god I have no other way of doing it, so... Just deal. Anyways. Starts with Gold Moon, then moves on to Reislin, Tasselhoff, Mustache Guy, Dwarf, Fag in a Headband, whatever. It ends off with the guy I'm using now. So anyways, this is where we wanted to go. This is where we've been fighting to get our discs of plot significance or whatever. Anyways. Lead off with Gold Moon. Very difficult, very easy to mess up right off the bat. So save before you go in. And it's a huge fuck-off dragon. Now watch. Yeah, I was bullshitting you that whole time. You just throw your fucking staff at it and it blows the fuck up. I'm sure there's reasoning for that someone can explain, but... I don't know it. And now, run like fucking hell because there are rocks falling. Right here... ...are the discs. Take those fuckers. At least the fucking music changed. And get the hell out of here. Watching out for the falling ceiling as you go. And with that, you get the best ending ever. We received the discs of uselessness. Or whatever. I'm sure they're actually important, but fuck it. Everyone gets their experience points. Cameron gets a fucking ridiculous amount because he killed everything I ca that we came across. Note that this is all completely meaningless. Hooray! You also get the best piece of music in the entire game. So I guess that's its reward. 
And congratulations, a winner is you. You the blah 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 the MacGuffins and the gods rescue you. Well, you know if if they could pull me out of there, uh, why couldn't they just yank the discs out of there? Is that giant fuck off dragon supposedly more powerful than these gods that yanked us out of there? Was he blocking their powers? I don't think so, because he got blown up by a fucking staff. But you know what? I don't care. The game is to be continued. I also don't care. It can go to hell for all I care. Anyways. This has been an extremely boring playthrough of an extremely boring and shitty game. So, see you next time. Later.